like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's take a swim, only option is to win. Welcome to the Shrimp Tank Post Show Wrap Up. And we're shooting to you or shooting live today from the Chamber of Commerce. And our special guest was Jennifer Bruce. Thank you, Jennifer, for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It was a fabulous interview. And J.J. Holly, my co-host, co um, J.J. Partner in crime. Partner in crime. He's the go. president and CEO of the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce. And, and this was a great show about uh, Jennifer's story, an entrepreneur who got a finance degree, went to work for a big oil company, and then... She had the safety and the security, and she broke out and uh, took the path to choose her dream, uh, being an entrepreneur in a creative sort of field in marketing. And so she is the owner, the creator of Hello Woodlands. She has a cooking show. She does private consulting. Uh, she's all around town. She's got her bit, her her website is is blowing up with um, um, new followers and. Uh, it's a new source for all about the woodlands, and uh, I, I was fascinated to, to learn about that and hear about her story. So uh, we had just a couple of questions on our post-show wrap-up, and don't forget you'll be able to download a complete replay of the show at houston.shrimptankpodcast.com. You want to go first, JJ? Sure. Uh, one thing we talked about was uh, following your dream and how much time and effort and perseverance that takes. How do you balance your work schedule with your life schedule and your family and make sure that all those other pieces that are also important work. Mm -hmm. So just like you have a meeting that week and you schedule time, you have to schedule time for family time, you have to schedule time for workout time, mm -hmm. for sleep time. So you want to have a schedule. And of course, sometimes that does fluctuate, but make sure at least once a week you have a night with your family. You have to keep that weekly date night. Uh, mm -hmm. what not, and do not sacrifice your family time. Uh, but also realize that you do have to work hard, and sometimes you do have to work late nights. So it's about a balance and finding the kind of the middle ground mm -hmm. beforehand. Yeah, that's hard to do when you're an entrepreneur and you have things going on. You could literally work, you know, 40 hours a day if there were such a thing. But mm -hmm. uh, you have to have fun to that balance or, or those other things, uh, you know, it, it can pull you down, bring you that's down, right. and prevent you from uh, reaching your dreams. So mm -hmm. we got into some really interesting things because um, um, j there's, there's a marketing science behind viral marketing that was fascinating to me. And if you could tell us just a little bit more about that, Jennifer. Right. So many people about viral marketing thinks it just happens. You get all these hundreds of thousands or millions of views overnight, and it's much more than that. You have to analyze your audience. Who is your audience? What do they want to see? What type of content they engage with? Uh, where they're, they're at? What age they are? Um, do they want to see a short video, a long video? The timing is also very crucial. So there's so much strategy with that, and it also depends on your industry. So you have to lay out a plan. It's not overnight, and sometimes it takes more than one try. Mm -hmm. So it's it's strategy, it's structure, it's a little bit of trial and error, um, but the results can be astounding, isn't it? Um, right. You can, you can build businesses overnight, but you also have to prepare for that viral marketing. Some people want viral marketing, but they're not ready for it. So you really have to build a business and you have to decide how many people you want to reach and what might happen. There's a lot of what ifs, but you prepare for the worst and you prepare for the best. And it's a tightrope because just like you can build a business overnight, you can lose a business overnight. Yes. So some people I tell, you know, you want I always advise people to advertise their business, but sometimes it's timing. Mm -hmm. Do you have that grand opening tomorrow? Are you ready for all these customers tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So it's timing, but either way, there's a great way to market your business. Okay, so you can go at it alone. You can um, underestimate all the many, uh, what they say in, in, the, in the book, the, the 10,000 10, hours to become an expert. Yeah, I'm sure you've logged well over 10,000 hours. You can go at it alone. Yeah. Or <laughs> you can find somebody that is an expert in the field, and uh, that would be uh, my advice, to find an expert. And clearly from the interview, we've determined that uh, you, you do have an amazing amount of expertise, and it's showing up in your cooking show. It's showing up in your... Uh, and your business here, Hello Woodlands. And so, uh, Jennifer, tell our listeners, how would someone get in touch with you or 
your um, website or your cooking show if they want to get in, in, in touch with you and learn more. Yeah, absolutely. So go to hellowoodlands.com. We have new information every single day. If you want to shoot me an email to contact me directly, go to info at hellowoodlands.com. You can also watch me on YouTube at I Love Flavor. So there's several different avenues and social media in your website. What's ever good for you, we'll be there. We've not had someone on that has a cooking show, so uh, I'm excited <laughs> about that because I watch the cooking shows uh, pretty much. That's now, what, now I'm hungry. That's yeah. what I watch. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're excited about that. It's a great interview. Don't forget, you can download a complete replay of the show at houston.shrimptankpodcast.com. Jennifer, thank you for being our guest. It was thank a wonderful so interview, much. and we sure enjoyed it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> sure enjoyed you ha- having you on the show. It was a lot of fun. JJ, thank you for being Enjoy on the show. It, always. All right, we'll see you next week, folks. Like a shark in a shrimp tank